This is what happens when a dog bites you. It is no surprise to know that the dogs were the first species to be domesticated around 50,000 years ago. Although they are named as a man's best friend and take a big part in human society, Dog bites are the most common animal bites in the world. 4.5 million cases in US alone during 2020, mostly caused by the pit bulls. When it comes down to dog bites, you have to think about two factors, infection and structural damage. In terms of infection, during a dog bite, especially the ones piercing your skin, a lot of bacteria and microorganisms might invade the wound and that can lead to infection. Although there are many to be listed, the most common types of infections are rabies, pasteurella infection, and stab and strep infection. Each of them has their own symptoms. Rabies being the most known infectious among people because of its unique symptoms. Besides, these are the general symptoms to see if a wound is infected or not, like pain, swelling, pus formation, fever, night sweat, and others. In addition to these, Tetanus can also happen from an animal bite. Nani? Now, let's look at the structural damage from dog bite. Usually, dogs tend to bite hands and feet, followed by head, neck, and buttocks. The severity of dog bite is measured by six different types. Type 1 is just the dog being aggressive and making no contact with the skin. Type 2 happens when the dog's teeth touch the human skin, but causing no skin break. These two types alone make up about 85-90% to of all dog bites, while the other types become more brutal based on the depth of the wound piercing the skin, which can lead to infection. These brutal types of bite require stitches to even worse surgeries. And there are many cases where the dog bites change the physical appearance of people like broken bones. So be careful, especially with the children. Oh, hell no. The first thing you need to do after a dog bite is to classify the wound and make sure to keep it clean as much as you can. By washing it with soap and water, stop the bleeding with a sterile cloth or band-aid. You can even apply antibiotic cream to the area. If you suspect any infectious symptoms, go to the hospital as soon as possible. You might need vaccine shots, antibiotics or even some surgery to correct the structural damage. Despite all that, only 10 to 15% of all dog bites lead to infections. Honestly, I got a little scared when researching this content, but that doesn't lower my love toward dogs. I will just be more cautious than right there. What the dog doing? So these are the things that can happen from a dog bite that you have just learned. So the quote of the video will be well, I can't think of anything. Just comment some quote that you like. I might feature it in my next video. Watch what will happen if you stand so long or learn about some vitamins. Why not? Stay safe and see you in the next video.